attributes are important, but uh, understanding how attributes and the way you should do a template is very important. But uh, my goal is to my, my my goal today is to explain you how you the, the other way around, not how to do a template. What you what you want to have from a template, uh, okay? So, for example, uh, uh, another st stuff that, for example, people don't probably use uh, uh, in their advantage is classification systems and properties. Uh, people use properties, but classification systems they don't think about it. They only think about classification systems for IFC and. ISO, but we created classification systems for the purposes of our, our office. So, for example, we when we want to do quantity takeoff, we have our classification system that enables us to uh, say state where the things are going to be measured. Okay, uh, if it's a wall, and if it's a wall, uh, in which chapter is going to measure it? Okay, and of course, uh, the uh, each each one of them has some properties attached. Uh, I can explain uh, a little bit about this, but uh, this enable us to uh, really, really fast. And I'm, I mean, in a house like this, I, we can do quantity takeoff in an afternoon, okay? Which is, and it's not coming out straight out from Archicad, but uh, it's one person with a model and the other one in in, in Excel, uh, uh, just copying numbers and, and writing up the descriptions, etc. The, the goal would be in the long term to do everything from, from Archicad, but it's still uh, an ongoing process, okay? For simple stuff, it's possible. For big stuff, it's a little more uh, cumbersome. So it, it has uh, properties attached. And for example, uh, in this case, this is something that it's very, uh, very useful. And for me, that's, uh, that's, 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 I would say that's the feature of our template because it's well structured for the way we want to produce documentation. And I mean, uh, I think we're doing some pretty neat stuff right now. So, uh, um, so it's working. It, it's it's been several years. We don't need to update the template, so it's working. So, and we have uh, a new team member uh, every now and then, and in 15 days they're producing like everyone else okay so i think it's a success a success so and for about going back to the classification because you, you haven't seen this as i said uh, we use classifications or of course we have archicad in this case we have two i don't know why but um we have classifications um, for uh systems that are for us okay so for example for quantity takeoff, this is the chapter when everything is measured with the properties, okay, attached to it. So uh, if you select something like something like this, uh, it's going to be measured um, as cluster board, okay, and this means that in, it's going to be measured in square meters, uh, okay. Um, and this will be uh, and a lot for for Excel. We we have tables and we export them. Everything is ready here. Uh, so we we have all the schedules for quantity takeoff here, and this is exported. And then put the, the descriptions are worked and graphically should be working in Excel. We still didn't haven't managed to do everything here. Um, so. I was saying that the properties uh, around that are very specific. For example, uh, you have uh, the the unit where it's measured, being measured, uh, as I told you before, uh, the way it's measured, and then the actual quantity uh, it's going to take off. It, it understands exactly what we want. It's the numbers are perfect. We had the chance to compare them with a quantity surveyor, so uh, so it, it's good. So. Um, it's working. We also have uh, classification systems for uh, areas, and this is something that uh, we we shouldn't use zones on top of zones. But uh, some sometimes we use uh, volumes for uh, or fields. But usually we we prefer, we tend we tend to prefer to use uh, solids, and we classify them as areas or. Uh, gross areas, uh, 
okay, we, we classified our zones in our system. So this uh, enables us to take off some quantities based not on layers and, and et cetera, but based on classifications, which I tend to prefer. Uh, okay. Uh, so, and this this handles most of most of the things. So, uh, as you can see, the the the, the template is mostly prepared for uh, detailed projects because uh, concept designs are very hard to tackle because uh, we don't do concept designs. They 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 tend to be you you are very creative in that stage and you cannot uh, uh, standardize. Uh, cre creativity, so it's very, very hard. But in detailed projects, it's very important. And also, I would stress out that probably it's the area where you spend more hours in the project. So that's where the well, also where the money is. So that's where you sh you spend more time in the project. That's where you have more costs, and you should be very, very careful with that. So that's where we aim for for detailed project and to do it with that project.